Hey guys, this is the old new release by LDRC and LDRC makes awesome RC cars and look at this guys, this car has got independent front suspension and a solid rear axle but is it any good? Let's find out! <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a brand new RC car from LDRC to look at. And as we all know, LDRC makes very interesting RC cars and this one is no different. So this car has got independent front suspension, a solid rear axle and metal gears. So I'm very curious about this car. But guys, don't judge the color because the black one was sold out, so I've got another color. Inside the box you will find the car, the transmitter, a USB charger, a 500 milliamp lithium ion battery, we've got some instructions, a tool and some trim. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. This is the transmitter and it runs on two double A's which you need to supply of your own. So it's capable of one hand steering but the steering wheel is very thin in my opinion and you've got a little extension for the thumb steering but yeah I can reach it without that little piece so I think that this little piece is a bit annoying but it is what it is. So it feels all okay of course it's all plasticky but you know it's very sturdy so that's all fine. So here we have got an on off switch, this is your steering trim, your throttle trim and we have a couple of buttons for the speed selector and for the light switches. So now Let's have a close look at the car, but before we do so, I'm going to add the trim and then I will come back to you. And here is the car guys, what do you think of the appearance? Well appearance wise I really like the car and we all know which car they try to copy but it doesn't matter, I really like how it looks. So the red color it's not really my thing but the other colors were sold out I will put the link down below to those other colors so you can check them out for yourself. But this red it's like a cherry red and yeah it's not really my thing but I bought this one otherwise I couldn't do the review. So here it is guys, so let's have a closer look at the details. In the front of the car you will find some light buckets and the light buckets will have some LEDs inside there. So I'm not sure if this car has got some indicators but we will find out when we throw in the batteries. So here you can see a lot of details but I think that's a bit of a shame that we don't have got any lysing plating and I understand that we don't have got a badge you know because this is not a licensed car. But look at all the details that they have added you know. We've got some uh, air vents here in the bonnet or the hood. We've got some fake wipers sitting right over there and the mirrors so you will have actually some uh, yeah mirrors inside there and look how flexible this is guys so if you roll the car over it doesn't matter this will just flex and it will not break off so that's always a good thing so all around the car we've got some little bits and pieces which they added to make it look like the real thing and I really like that and here is the exhaust guys do you see that I really like the appearance of it on the inside of the car you will find a very detailed interior and I really like that. So the wheels and tires, I'm not a big fan of the chrome wheels but it is what it is. And the tires they feel okay you know. So this is more like a trail truck maybe or an all round playing car and I think that these tires are all fine for doing that. So underneath the car you will find all the magic. So in the rear you will have a solid rear axle and I really like that. And we've got a four link setup sitting right over there. So everything is made of plastic but on the box it's written that it's got metal gears inside there so we have to trust the box art. So in the front you will find the independent suspension and I always like independent suspension. So here you can see the metal drive shafts, there are no bearings inside this car. So the, the friction shocks, yeah they are just simple friction shocks so in the rear they feel all fine and I think they nailed it in the rear but here in the front they are just too stiff in my opinion. So this one yeah it moves but I think the weight of the car is just too lightweight for the stiffness of the suspension. So that's a bit of a downside. So yeah, let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's on. I just forgot to mention that this is your battery compartment. If you want to access the battery, slide this a little bit forward and then you can access the battery. But slide it backwards again and then it's all locked in place. I really like that. And here is your on off switch. 
The car is powered on and here you can see the headlights. So we don't have got indicators with this car, but we do have got reverse lights. So I really like that. So yeah, the steering servo, it's pretty fast. I really like that. Do you see how fast it is? So that's a thumbs up for me. And the power of the steering servo, you know, for the car of this size, it's got plenty of power. So throttle rise, just listen guys. Yeah, I don't like that. So the low modulation is not very good as you can see. And when you're hitting an obstacle, even just my fingers. Do you see that? You really have to work the throttle stick to get over there. But it is what it is. So we've got a couple of buttons. This one is for the light system to turn the lights on and off. This doesn't do anything. And this is for the two speed. So you've got a high and a low and it's all digital. So there's only one thing left to do now. And let's take it outside for a spin. So guys, we're on the test course and this is the first obstacle that we're going to do. So it's a bit windy today, so sorry for the extra noise. But let's see if this car can do this incline. So yeah, if a car is any good, it should go all the way up this big boulder. If it can't, then I don't have got high hopes for the other obstacles. But here it goes without any problem. Here is the next obstacle that we are going to do. So the car is a bit low to the ground and as you can see the departure angle isn't very good. So the front bumper already hits the rock over there. But let's see if we can do this incline. So we've got traction enough, we've got power enough. So it's on the top already. Here is not a very interesting obstacle. So this is a very steep incline and the departure angle of this car isn't great. So the front bumper is scraping over the rocks already but it doesn't matter. So the center of gravity is pretty low, so let's see if we can manage to get up here. And well, traction, fine traction. So in this case, it's lacking a bit of power, but can we get up here? Let's try that again. Yes, here it goes. Now let's see if we can do a little bit of rock crawling with this car. I know this car isn't made for rock crawling, it's more like a trail truck, but let's see what happens. Well, the modulation isn't built for this, as you can see, it's a bit jumpy. But let's see if we can get over this big pile of boulders. Well, it did it, but yeah, let's try it go up again. No, this car isn't really a rock crawler. Let's uh, do some trailing. So guys, that was the driving with the LDRC, the LD1299. And what do I think of this car? Well, I really do like the idea of the independent front suspension with the solid rear axle with the four link setup. I really like that. But the execution of that is a bit not okay, you know. So the front suspension is just too stiff in my opinion. I don't like that. And the rear one is just too soft. I just hear it bottoming out all the time when driving over the grass. So that's a bit of a downside. Another thing what I really don't like is the motor that they have used this motor is just not powerful enough if you want to do some obstacles and even when driving to grass to grass you know this car just doesn't have got a lot of power and i don't like that so for example if you want to get over a little bit of a rock or something like that you know then you almost have to use full throttle to get it over there and when you're on there it will just fly off because you're uh, using the throttle stick all the way so that's a bit of a downside but appearance wise the car is all fine you know i really like that the 
red color isn't really my thing, but that's more like a personal thing. So yeah, this car is not a real rock crawler. It's not a real thrill car. This is more like a toy car playing around thing, you know. So yeah, that's what I think about it. Alright guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.